It is clear Alpha Investments has moved on from MetaZoo. He is now promoting Magic the Gathering, Miss Vale, um, the other game, Flesh and Blood, and Sorcery. He has the new Sorcery is his grading company. He's got a lot of hands in a lot of little cookie jars right now. And MetaZoo is just a thing of the past to him. He was not involved, never told you it was investable. Ironically enough, he never actually bought a single MetaZoo collection. He was always only selling MetaZoo. He was never buying it. He was always selling MetaZoo, right? The assembly line and so on. These now deleted videos of him selling millions of dollars of this product to fans of the game Pokemon and Magic. So if I had to guess, I would guess the majority of people who watch his videos are Magic players because he started out as a Magic channel. Before there was Flesh and Blood, he was only doing magic. Before there was Sorcery and Lokana. He still won't touch Lokana because he doesn't have distribution, by the way. I don't know if he's done one piece that much. But anyway, um, he's got a lot of hands. You know, people think that he's this wealthy mogul. Um, if you're that wealthy, you're probably not doing this much magic. And I speak as someone who has this much magic because you can do stocks. As I learned, as soon as I learned how to do stocks, and it's very intermediate level, I would say even beginner level, I just have no passion to do investment in cardboard anymore because it's very, very uh, time consuming and very space consuming as opposed to just putting money in stocks and seeing what happens. You don't need to monitor or baby that every day, even. So back to my original assessment as like this investment portfolio thing, man, like, Let's let's be honest. Like, if you were interested in Pokemon, and then they sold you MetaZoo, you gotta be feeling like shit right now because every video Alpha Investment is pumping out is how awesome Pokemon is. And every time he talks about Roaring Sky, his bathroom at Pokemon, he is super hyped on that Pokemon train. He is on that Pokemon train and read you like all these videos. What was that video? It was like Pokemon to the Moon, or this is the best bull run. The greatest, po oh, the greatest Pokemon bull market in history. So because you bought MetaZoo and you didn't buy Pokemon, even even channels like I like Nick, right? But let's be honest, if he didn't do MetaZoo, right? He probably would have done Pokemon. His channel isn't called Nick Strength in MetaZoo. It's called Nick Strength in Pokemon, right? So had he not put the effort into the MetaZoo, and then I think it would be a lot better off and... Uh, everyone would feel really good about the investments now. I have a shit ton of Evolving Skies. I got dumped um, a ton of Evolving Skies, and I have no idea what to do with it. So I went on live stream one day and opened, I think, like, 50 Elite Trainer Boxes. Didn't get my Moonbrion. Then I opened another 50 Elite Trainer Boxes. Did get my Moonbrion. So I eventually did get the card I was looking for off-camera, of course. But yeah, I did pull um, I pulled the Espeon gang. Fusion Strike was a lot. I guess I just opened a lot more Fusion Strike. Uh, I, I like Espeon, so I, I'm a big fan of Espeon instead. But instead of like buying like Evolving Skies and God forbid they buy like Dual Lands or something relatively... You know, Dual Lands have tripled in price since MetaZoo was a thing. Um, while MetaZoo has lost 95% of its value overnight, uh, basically. And, as, and there's no survival, there's no content, there's nothing really that leads me to believe this thing is going to make it. And I, I, again, this Mike Waddell character, he comes and goes, he comes and goes, he, you know, he posts, hey, MetaZoo's dead, now MetaZoo's, uh, MetaZoo is, here, here's, we played MetaZoo, the worst TCG game ever from the test table. Scam, unplayable, awful, the worst. I don't know if it's sarcasm, but I will assume it is not. I mean, that's MetaZoo is a. Um, let me let me click on that video. The test table. I've okay, never so, seen. Um, you got the protection. The MetaZoo. Let's read this. Uh, Bet you thought this day would never come. We finally tackle MetaZoo, arguably one of the most controversial card games of modern times. I think one of the biggest red flags with MetaZoo is almost all the discussion you see around the cards talked about them as stocks rather than game pieces. Big facts. Andrew Garfield said that you treat your game as a collectible first in 
a game second, the player suffers. He should let the Pokemon TCG community hear that. Not going to lie, top tier handling of Biohazard, not counting the times you touch your faces. MetaZoo, more like MetaPoo. Thank you, thank you. And again, this is, I think they, okay, I know who these guys are. They play tested Inuyasha too. And it looked like they had fun doing Inuyasha. So, so they, I guess they play test like all these random dead card games. Watching you guys just make shit up at the end was far more entertaining than watching the rest of your game of MetaZoo laugh out loud. The game's concept seemed like a fun idea. The downfall came when the cards were treated like investments. Uh, I originally found you guys through your first MetaZoo video. You guys never failed to amuse me. Um, you guys are hilarious, entertaining, and educational. I appreciate and collect MetaZoo. Like this dude, like Cryptid... Keeper, I mean, come on, homie. Like, would you rather have MetaZoo right now and lose all your money, lose 95% of the value, perhaps more? And your only savior is this Mike Waddell dude who is, like, the biggest flip-flopper I've ever seen? Or would you rather have a bunch of Moonbryons in Involving Sky? I know one of these sells, and I know something else does not sell. Again, let me repeat this. For a... If you spent $10,000... Let's say you spent $10,000 in your MetaZoo collection... Your collection is probably worth five hundred dollars today. That's a very, very generous price. I wouldn't pay. I mean, I would just. I, I wouldn't pay any money because clearly MetaZoo doesn't think their product is worth any money as they throw in the dumpster. But let's say you had ten thousand dollars on Moonbryons at four hundred dollars a pop. <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> You'd rather have twenty-five Moonbryons or a Mothman or a Kickstarter box? No, come on, guys. Let's be real. Let's be real here. The most of the MetaZoo bros, they thought it was an investment opportunity. The, the number one MetaZoo hype master, Alpha Investment, has deleted all videos. All positive videos have been deleted. So if you watch his YouTube videos, you would think that he was not involved in MetaZoo at all. Or he was warning people that MetaZoo was not investable this entire time. Uh, this is a dude who is, again, saying that this is the greatest Pokemon bull market of all time. So you missed the greatest Pokemon bull market because you were buying BS Dar Dumpster Fire from Alpha Investments. How sad is that, man? How sad is it to... I mean, instead of like... like let's, let's imagine there's two stocks, right? There's Apple stock and there's like fake Apple stock. You, put, you bought all the fake Apple stock. You didn't even buy... Like, all the money that you could have used to buy Apple stock go to the moon... You spent it on the fake Apple stock. That clearly was a fake ripoff copy of Apple stock. Come on, man. It's Apple. I mean, come on, man. Come on. Like, one one of these is in a dumpster, and one of them, Moonbryon, it's in the fucking name, man. It's Moonbryon, right? It's going to the moon. You guys pick.